Hey gang, Jamie Aston, and today we're going to do a uh, video with an overview of my PC setup, and this was uh, requested a week ago by Mr. Louie. This video is uh, for you and others. <laughs> Alright, uh, he says I'm doing a multi-screen setup and I was interested in what you have rigged up, thanks. So, um, Right now I'm running three monitors and um, I could do four. Uh, you could do more if you have the horsepower, but uh, let's talk about uh, my computer and um, and how I, and the monitors and how I have everything figured out. Uh, number one, it's not really special about what computer brand that you have. You can build your own computer. They're all components. So I'm not really going to go into the detail about that. Um, but I am running a, uh, <laughs> it is enclosed, it's a Dell XPS 8300, so it's not anything new or fancy. Uh, it's Intel Core i7 2600, so it's not anything new, it's a few years old. Uh, 12 gigabytes of RAM. Um, I am running Windows 10 currently, and uh, my graphics card, which is probably... The more important thing in this uh, factor is the AMD Radeon HD 7700, so 7700 series. Really nothing special in 2 gigabytes of video uh, RAM on that. So um, well, let's talk about the monitors for a moment. We have a 24 inch monitor right here, 24 inches running at max 1080p. This is a 23 uh, inch monitor max uh, 1080p and this is a uh, 20 inch monitor max 900 this is an ISP display so we get really nice colors on this one um, and it's also a touch um, and I think it only has two points of touch it's an older uh, touch screen monitor and I really bought it just because of that originally it was going to be maybe for the coffee table or the kitchen or something like that the arms on it you can almost lay this display flat and it has built-in speakers so it's really meant for something like that I don't use those speakers I use these uh, M-Audio monitors uh, more so for music and such um, a little bit more about the monitors these monitors are uh, these two are hanging on the wall. Now I know one of the cool things that a lot of people have really really like to have now are mechanical keyboards. I, I personally haven't gone to a mechanical keyboard just yet. Uh, but I do use a gaming uh, keyboard. It's a Logitech G11. Uh, nothing special about it other than I just got it for a really cool price many years ago um, as far as me selecting this model. But it does have a lot of cool features, a lot of macros. Um, USB ports up at the top uh, there and um, the the biggest thing for me is the volume I mean the uh, backlight control and the uh, media control you know right on the keyboard um, that's really cool second thing I'm using over here is a, a Logitech uh, mouse it's an MX518 I mean I love this mouse and I keep it configured at a super high speed a lot of times and uh, you end up having a lot of mice over the years and uh, for different laptops and devices you know a little pocket mouse but one of the best mice I've uh, I've come across is is the Microsoft Arc mouse um, for portability it lays flat you bend it like that you have your mouse blue track so it really works on many different surfaces comes in a Bluetooth model I have that one as well as uh, one with the USB but uh, these these mice are, are, are super solid. Uh, but one of the things I do is that I have, used to have a lot of laptops. I've gotten rid of a lot of those and down to tablets and things like that now. But anytime someone has a computer they want me to look at or I need to bring something in or even my work computer, I don't really like to sit anywhere else than my desk. This is very comfortable to sit right here and to work at my computer. So. I don't, uh, I would rather dock a solution in over here and work on one of these monitors than to go and sit at my uh, couch or anywhere else or coffee table or anything like that to work on a laptop like this. I mean, come on, I have 
have everything right here. So that's where I like to work. One of the things I'm using on one of the uh, monitors, it's really doggone cool. This is a Belkin. It's a Belkin uh, KV switch. And it really is just a display adapter, which that's what this is right here, mini display adapter on here. But it really is a, it's a VGA adapter. They do come in DVI. <laughs> it has audio and it has a uh, USB. And what you do with this is you have uh, you plug it into one computer, plug it into another computer. So up to two computers can be running at one, on one of these monitors. So right here, I have a Surface Pro 3. We're going to plug in a display port uh, and we're going to put the USB adapter in. And I don't even think I have it powered on yet. Yeah, it's on. All right. So let's take a look at what we have right here. So here is the uh, surface, and I'm going to put my password in real quick. All right. So we have the surface logged in. And what we're going to do now, um, my surface right now is uh, we're just going to mirror it. But I, I have it configured uh, at the office. It this device actually runs two monitors. It can run up to three monitors. I've run three monitors, and including its own monitor, I've run four monitors off of Surface Pro Three at the office, and. Um, that's really cool. I mean, name other device or especially a tablet that you can really do that with. But right now we're just going to mirror the image and I don't want to change any configurations. So, that's, that's the surface screen, right? We're doing things on the surface and you see it happening right here. I come over with my mouse and keyboard, same thing. We are configuring on the surface. Now, that's cool again because I can work right here from my uh, work device and um, do whatever I need to do on it. You know, I used to have a couple of Macs, and uh, this is what I use this cable for. Honestly, I had them over here, and um, so I could just swap between the environments, go to the Mac side of of the world if I needed to, and. Um, and work, but uh, I abandoned those. I uh, sold them uh, maybe three years ago, two or three years ago. And uh, what's on this little Belkin device is a low button. See that? Let me go right back to my desktop. So that, that solution works with any computer. And so I made sure I have that configured on the lowest resolution one since it's VGA. Um, all right. Since we're talking about my PC rig and multiple under setup, I'm just going to probably do an overview of a lot of my components. You see this right here? <laughs> that is a Netgear Nighthawk. It's a Netgear Nighthawk router. Wireless router, but probably more important for me that it has gigabit ports. You know, wireless is great uh, for a lot of things that we do, but you cannot beat a wire. You cannot beat a wire. And I need full speeds. I would like full speeds for data transfer internally in my office. So I have that net here running. And down here, uh, just because uh, everything down here is, is, uh, is gigabit and uh, all the components uh, have this other network uh, desktop hub right here. I think it's 8 or 16 ports. Um, so I can uh, uh, transfer data and things like that. Let's see what all do we have down here. We have two UPS blocks uh, for surge protector and battery backup. And we have for the television and the DVD players and all this other crap. We're all running off the network right here as well. But <clears throat> more importantly, I have a cable or two <laughs> running alongside the wall. Oh, we're about to see my junk and my mess, right? We're running all this stuff. There's some fishing stuff on that big fish. All the way to my closet. 
In the closet, we have uh, we have another desktop that's actually running um, a couple of virtual environments for me, um, virtual servers and such like that. We have a Dell. Uh, this is a 24 inch, uh, 24 port network switch, but that thing was uh, honestly it was too loud. <laughs> It was too loud, so I abandoned it. I went back down to a, uh, this is a network, uh, I mean a Netgear gigabit uh, smart switch right here. We have a ReadyNAS. Uh, we have two APC uh, backup, uh, battery backup surge protectors down here. Multiple hard drives. Um, for the geeks out there, if you know what this is, uh, it's old school, but I, still, I am still running them for, for things. Uh, the uh, Linksys uh, slugs, NSLU twos. Uh, you know, yes, they are unslung and you know do some other cool things uh, through some of the hacking community. Uh, man, they were just really cool devices. This is why I need to have gigabit uh, cables run, and I even have a cable run out of this office all the way into another room for some other stuff. But data transfers, I, I have gigabytes and gigabytes, no, no, no. I have terabytes and terabytes of data, <laughs> you know. And uh, what's the point of having terabytes of data if you are not backing up your data? So I have on-site backup and I have off-site backup. And um, off-site backup, you know, I do a little bit to the cloud, but mostly my off-site backup is me transferring hard drives to a vault at the bank and um, so once I you know get these things backed up you know a lot of it goes through the rating as um, you know with this computer one of the biggest components I forgot to tell you is that I'm running a solid state hard drive and um, I do have a second hard drive in here for storage uh, this uh, of course running at 7200 RPM but uh, the SSD is what steals the show. Let's let's do something real quick. Let me show you how fast uh, this computer comes up. All right, now we're coming up. We saw that, so that means this is from start. Maybe I'll count down the video. Just saw the Windows logo, <laughs> and we're up. You know, it's, it's I would say it's ten seconds or less. You know, startup time. You know, so uh, I had to put my password in, right? There we are. We're back. <clears throat> now, one of the things that uh, when I talk about backup and having multiple devices, which I, I personally do, tablets, laptops, other desktops, things like that, I hate to have information in one place and not available in the other. This is where the cloud comes in. I, I am a personal user of OneDrive even though I have all the other accounts. Dropbox, Google Drive, Box, all that stuff. I don't use them. OneDrive is integrated so well and um, so that's what I use. Uh, but the next thing is that uh, I don't store any, any data for the most part other than applications. There is nothing stored on this computer's hard drive. And uh, if we can show you where 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 my data is actually stored, close all. Where my data is actually stored is on my ReadyNAS. The data is stored on ReadyNAS, and ReadyNAS can encrypt, uh, encrypt data as well. If you all have any questions? You all see anything else? You know, and I make a video, and you see something in the background you want to know more about? Uh, just let me know. Um, I definitely don't mind doing a video. Um, you see something? Let me know. Otherwise, happy new year. Take care. Thanks, Louie, for uh, requesting this video. It was fun. So I uh, hope it helps you out. Send me a private message if you have any other quest uh, questions or concerns. Um, all right.